The newly formed Transitional Justice Commission has been at work for six weeks, and today it gave its first press conference. Commission Chairman Huang Wangshong said that the team was reopening infamous murder cases that occurred during the White Terror period. These include the murders of Lin Yishong's mother and twin daughters in 1980, a case that has never been solved. At today's press conference, the Commission said it would open up documents previously classified. Our scope includes that era's most secretive National Security Bureau, Military Intelligence Bureau, and the Investigation Bureau. Generally speaking, their chiefs and those in charge have come to the realization that they are being required by today's government to open up their political archives. With regard to confidential files, the Transitional Justice Commission will meet with representatives of five political parties on July 26 to discuss the handling and reporting guidelines. The Commission said it aimed to get to the bottom of events during the White Terror period, including the infamous Lin family murders and the mysterious death of Chen Wenchen. Also today, the Commission gave an update on the status of Jiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall, saying they were still ironing out the details of the monument's transition. After the Ministry of Culture concluded its experts' meeting in the Jiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall issue, we had some discussion. They will probably begin the legal amendment process. We will proactively participate in the Ministry of Culture's legal amendment process. In addition to promoting transitional justice, the committee plans to create a special fund that will contain ill-gotten assets that the government recovers from political parties. According to the Commission, the special fund will be used to heal the wounds of history's political victims.